Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. This time we are going as Azazel. We are on a pretty good streak so far of just working our way through the characters, seeing what we can do. Um, so far, pretty happy with how it's all going. Um, not super happy about that. I, I am kind of happy about that though. Tears up is pretty good. It's only a small one, but it's something and we'll full card out of here as well. XL floor here, so we've got Devil Deal off the bat. If we can manage to get ourselves a Soul Heart or two, that'd be rather nice. That was kind of scary. That that didn't kill this dude. What the heck? What the heck? But yeah, as for question of the day today, what is something that you really want to do but know you'll never be able to? What what is something that like I don't know? Maybe it's because of your location. Maybe it's because of I don't know. Just who you are as a person, but what's something that you're like jealous of people doing or something that you want to do that you know you'll never be able to? I feel like that's, everyone's got something like that and it'd be interesting to hear yours. Okay, rubber cement, not super great here. Um, It might, it might be useful against certain enemies if, if the rubber cement affects enemies. Um, I'm just going to go quickly back over to this room over here and check because I'm pretty sure secret room is right here. Um, I'll try to check this room as well to make sure I'm right about that. I'm pretty sure I am. I'm going to put the bomb down. Yeo. Secret room finding now. Comes pretty naturally. Um, ooh, card against humanity, you say. Very, very nice. Not often that you see card against humanity, but probably the best card in the game, or one of the best cards in the game, I think. Um, at least in my opinion, I really, really like it. Really, really like it. I suppose so one thing that's kind of nice about rubber cement is it is slightly extending our range in certain situations, which is quite nice. And if we get more range ups, it'll be even more valuable. Eden's head, it's actually pretty good. Um, I've used it a few times before. Random throwables, on average, aren't amazing, but there is some good ones in there. Obviously, the unpredictability of it all is a little annoying, but that is quite nice. Um, yeah, and also what counts as a throwable is... Sort of strange. It's not always stuff that you actually throw. It's just stuff that you hold above your head. Um, and some situations can lead to stuff like that where it's uh, not something I might want. Good stuff. It is only a one room charge though, so it's worth using a good amount. I mean, just situations like that are pretty darn good. Uh, and this is probably going to be our card against humanity room as long as there isn't a ton of rocks. And I think we're okay for it here. Dude, we're getting this one every single time right now. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, this is definitely going to be our card against humanity room here. Um, there's like, quite a lot of open space for us to work with. So we'll pop that down. And we will hope, 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 hope we can get petrified poop relatively early. But you never really know. You never really know. If you can get it within like the first sort of 50% of the room, then you're you're golden. Otherwise, it's not great. But we did already get half a soul heart, so that makes Devil Deal plausible for us. Hey, there you go. We, we, we're golden here. We're going to get quite a lot of money and potentially a few soul hearts along the way here. This is good stuff. This is a really, really good start to a run. And now, the game is a little bit laggy while we're doing this, just because the game doesn't particularly like all the, the poop debris. Which is slightly annoying. Oh, we got a Soiled Heart as well. Soiled Hearts are pretty amazing. Although, that did pick it up and it didn't seem to affect my health bar, so I'm not exactly sure what happened with that Golden Penny here as well. We'll get back to that later. Baby, this is good stuff. This is good stuff, obviously. A lot of red hearts that aren't super useful for us. Another soul heart. Lovely. God damn. So much money. Basically, money is sorted for the rest of the run now, pretty much. We should get a few, a few more luck upgrades among this as well. At least probably one more. The luck upgrades are pretty good. Probably get uh, a few more soul hearts in here somewhere. Nickels and dimes are plenty. Just such a goddamn good card. Such a goddamn good card. There's another luck penny. Good, good. Yeah, once you got golden pennies and luck pennies unlocked, this card gets even better. But already it's very, very good. 
We're almost done. Beautiful. Almost there. Hey, there you go, another look room. We got up to four looks just off this one room. And I think that's our lot. And we don't even need to use the golden penny because we have 99 coins, but that is some good stuff. Let me quickly leave and re-enter to make sure there isn't... Okay, the poops don't disappear off the floor. Sadly, sadly, we don't have a sacrifice room. We don't have red HP because that would have been pretty perfect. We'll go to our shop real quick and see what we've got going on in there. Um, we Let's have a little look. See, what was this? Throw up a light and create a large, long-lasting cloud of smoke that confuses the enemies that enter it. Hmm, I've never used that before. I'm going to give that a go. I, I know the throwable head is pretty good, but I think that's actually pretty good as well. So, sounds interesting. And it's a part of the fungi transformation, which is kind of nice. Okay, I should be taking pills because I want range ups, but it could also equally be a range down, which would be very upsetting. And now we've got more reason to take our golden penny because we um we spent some money. Although with it being a large room, I'm not particularly enthused about collecting the golden penny. What uh what boss are we going for here? We're going light path. I'll do this up until at least 90, but I'm not continuing on. Sadly, we didn't get as many soul hearts as I was hoping for, but we still got a few. We're still in the realm of taking a devil deal here. Um, we haven't done Mega Satan though, so maybe we should just go for Angel. Okay, it's, it's over anyways. Good, good. Okay, that's that cloud of confusion. Seems to last a good while. Oh yeah, that, that, that's lasting a good while. Okay, this is, this is a good space bar item. It seems to be just indefinite for the rest of the room, maybe? But for bosses, it's very, very good. There's a good eternal heart. I like that. I think I'm still going to go angel deal regardless of the HP I just gained. Because um, Mega Satan is plausible here. Good. good. Beautiful. Growth hormones. Very nice. Mainly for the uh, the speed up, but damage up is also, of course, lovely. I was going to say range up, but I meant speed up. Anyways, down to the next floor we go. Feeling good. Got myself a bar limeade sugar free with me. A nice can. Very, very nice. Oh, I just went to the shop to buy some. Because I'm doing multiple Isaac episodes, so I wanted uh, a treat to get me through it. Dude, this is, this is kind of incredible. It's a pretty huge radius. I can just lob in the middle of the room and it just stuns anything. For a pretty long period of time, even after they walk outside of the mushroom's radius. Okay, it does fade after a certain amount of time, but it lasts a really respectable amount of time, so... Pretty good. These enemies are horrific. Luckily, we got through them. Secret room, I'm thinking to be right here, but I want to sort of check that out first. And make sure. You can extend the range there by shooting over rocks with uh, rubber cement, which is kind of nice. I didn't actually see what these enemies got. I think it was number one. Oh, that was very stupid of me. Uh, I'm very much thinking Secret Room is there now, based on what we're seeing here. Yeah. I really should be taking pills, to be honest, because I'm looking for range ups. I want to be using that mushroom whenever I can, really. But definitely worthy of quality three, I'd say. Um, Eternal Bombs is rather nice. Good damage against bosses. The Urts are pretty good too, but I'm actually pretty happy with the active I have right now, especially considering it works so well on bosses. That makes it slightly more appetizing, but the Urts are pretty fun. Ow. I just keep walking into enemies at the moment. Not the ideal way to play the game, I assure you. Health down. I mean, the fact that we're going Angel Deal means health down isn't so bad. Still a little annoying though. 
Damage wise stuff though, we're, we're doing pretty well. That we, That's a pill we haven't seen yet. I'm just gonna take all the pills, why not? Paralysis is fine. Okay, this is a good uh, mushroom room. Kind of put it in a bad spot to be honest, but hey her. Didn't even really need it. But like I said, it covers a pretty wide radius, so you're getting quite a lot out of it. There's another XL floor? No. It's just a big floor. Woohoo! Nice chunk of change. Nice chunk of change. Good. Keep forgetting we've petrified poop. We need to destroy poops when we see them. Nice drink of my drink. Thank you very much. Kind of an interesting room idea. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll spend a key for a glass D12. It could be pretty useful. This guy's going to be confused as heck. Oh, or not. Okay, it seems periodic on when he gets confused. That's fair. Okay, we got him. We got ourselves this, which is decent. And Rosary, which is also pretty decent. Our fire rate is uh, skyrocketed here. The Eternal Bombs do insane damage to bosses. I think it's literally double, so want to be using them whenever we can. And we shall skedaddle skadoodle. Very, very nice. Okay, health is looking very healthy. Unfortunately, it seems like our Soiled Heart didn't do anything. I'm going to bomb that because I'm pretty sure it's secret room. Dude, my secret room game is on point right now. It's beautiful. Okay, good. Money that I didn't really need there. I just did it. Okay, let's leave that money on the floor because we might spend some stuff this this uh, room, this floor, sorry, and uh, actually be able to do something with that. I am going to go into the cash room here because we've got one of those silver hearts. Um, which means that we'll lose half a heart here. But enemies will start dropping those silver hearts in future rooms. We just got to make sure we catch them when they uh, when they drop them, which is a little easier said than done. Well, oh, really, you've got all the money in the world, and this is what you do to me. Okay, the silver heart's gone. Okay, I'm getting hit a lot here. This is really not a good boss for having low range. Oh, dude, I got hit so much there. What the hell? There was a black heart, a uh, burn heart in this uh, thingy room here, but I don't think it's worth going in for. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Stephen Floor? Um, Items-wise, I have nothing that I want to trade right now, so Stephen Floor isn't ideal. But I do have a lot of money, and I have my secret room game on point right now, so it's probably worth going. I do miss out on an item room, but I think overall I'll get more items out of it. Oh, fired the wrong direction there. Ow. Need to stop getting hit. I'm getting hit a lot. Dude! This game, fuck off. It'll give me ways to spend money. I don't need more money. I've got enough money. Dude, fuck you, game. This is, this is a redonkulous amount of money to not have any way to spend it. Fuck you, game. You know what you did, you sly dog. That's so much goddamn money and I can't do anything with any of it. Sadly, no devil deal here. Um, That's unfortunate. No, no devil deal, no angel deal. You know what I meant. Oh, dude, I'm getting hit so much right now. It's embarrassing. Um, We'll go back for item room. Yeah, so it's not a permanent stunning effect on bosses. It's periodic. But it's still useful, nonetheless. And it especially helps when they've, they've got ads and stuff. There you go. Nice easy kill on you. This will be a devil deal if we get it. Nice tears up again. Love that. Oh, we're at max tears. Okay, so that was a kind of trash item, sadly. This is this is this is seriously max tears for Azazel. It's kind of not like amazing. It's it's pretty good, but for max tears, it's not as crazy as I would have thought. Some enemies can't even fire when they're stunned. It's kind of nice. Clairvoyant clears a curse. I don't think that did anything for us this floor. Um, I will definitely try to duplicate an item we have. Double Eternal Bombs? 
I'd rather have double growth hormones. Thanks, game. <laughs> Ask and ye shall receive. Okay, I'll definitely do a five room here. We might miss out on Steven floor because of this, but I think it's fair. Because I want another I want another angel deal chance and another item room does not sound bad at all. Especially if it's the same item room, which I don't think it will be, but if it is, I'd be happy. Right. Let's keep it moving. I don't know what I'm going to do with this glass D12. I've kind of been holding on to it, waiting for a time to use it. Steam sale, pretty decent. I mean, we've got plenty of money, so we don't need it, but I'm not going to say no to it. Another Eternal Heart. Lovely. That'll make up for the uh, health down we got. Good, good. Looking for a room with an absolute shit ton of rocks, really. Golden keys, rather nice. Arcade, I mean, we could spam this for some cards. Hanged Man's not very useful. Blood Void Machine, eh, I'm not really that enthused about any of that, to be honest. I don't want to spend a lot of money on that. Although I've got Steam Sale, my money is still kind of precious. Secret room, are we looking here, maybe? Looking reasonable. Nah. Second secret room could be here, though. There you go. Spawn one to ten keys. Ah, only four. Little Jezebel. You should be able to give this guy a golden key to just, like, give you a really good reward straight away. I'll play him down to, like, one payout. Do you know what? That was well worth the cost of doing business. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Right, one moment. Right, let's continue on. Yeah, I'll try and find out where Secret Room is. I'm not entirely sure right now. But yes, another item room. Another chance at an angel deal would be kind of lovely. I've got Crab Boy here. I see a little shadow. You spooky bitch. Oh, double crabs? No thank you. No thank you on the double crabness. I'm getting a lot of these uh, cardboard chests. They're pretty good. They can pay out some good items. Ah, bugger. Ooh, crawl space there. That was unexpected. Unexpectedly lovely. Cherry bomb, unfortunately, just not worth that, that trek. Not worth the travel time. Um, Cherry Bomb is an active. It's a it's a pretty goddamn good active, I will say. But it's not one that I need right now because I'm pretty happy with the actives that I've got. As you can see, I'm throwing my mushroom about, doing some good work with it. This is probably Secret Room. Um... Yes. Another golden key. Oh, hell. And then here, unfortunately, an active item. So in terms of uh, the doing, doing the floor again, we shit the bed a little bit there. But we do get another shop, which is another go at actually buying stuff. I hope the game actually lets us buy stuff this time. It does, however, the stuff available for purchase isn't super great, because one of them's another active. But of course. Well, Greg the Egg's pretty decent. He's a good lad. He's a good egg. And bow, and Toy Drum is pretty good as well, actually. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how this floor went. Let's go down. We're speeding along onto the depths. Good. Crack that bad boy. Yeah, periodic double damage. Rather nice. We'll pop all of these, why not? Golden penny. Don't think we need. I think I will take this though. Oh, what the fuck? Ah! Fuck off, Scythe. Why does the Scythe stay alive after he's dead?
Good, good. Quick clear. Okay, you did give me a key there. That's that's pretty good, Greg. Yeah, up to 92. Money's just been crazy this run, but no way to use it all. Yeah, I like having my locusts firing off flies constantly. It's rather nice. Extra penny. Oh, that was a beautiful mushroom throw right there. A beautiful throw. Key there, we'll come back for that. Oh man, I managed to kill all the babies without killing the main guy. I don't think I've ever done that before. Oop, Greg the Egg pooped out another bomb, thank you. Dude, can you give me one of these rooms full of rocks, please? Because I really want to use this D12 at some point. And there's just no need to. I mean, the only thing I really want out of it is golden poops, and I don't need any money. So it's not very valuable to me either way. I got a trinket in that last room. Hello, hello. This is certainly someone I can see paying out. Oh, fuck you, you gave me Mars. Why? Of all the things you could give me, you, you actual shit. What we got here anyways? Kapala effects. Yara we'll just hold on to. Algis is fine. Oh, fuck you, Mars. You're the worst thing ever. Pear throw. Let's let's just grab the pear throw real quick. And try and utilize it. This is only depths one, so we might get an angel deal here. I'm literally just trying to get rid of Mars. Just fuck Mars. Good, good. Still no angel deal. We did get a bunch more luck upgrade. That's kind of nice. Puzzles. You. Let's go back to our item room. Try and use this pair throw. God damn it. Um, That's kind of potentially nice. I'll see if it works against the thingy dude. Faster animation could be pretty nice. Speeding through the rooms at this at this point. Actually killing rooms is no no issue for us. Nice fly there. Do I care about boss rush and stuff? No. Hush would be nice, but boss rush I don't care about. Hush is a little bit weird for this character anyways. Lust I don't care much for. Shoppeth. Ooh, great. Reroll machine. Deep pockets. Lovely. This is very nice. I will take this. Hive mind. I'll definitely go back and take my other trinket now that I've got hive mind. Good, good. I wonder how pear throw would work in the library room. Ooh, Hemolacria. Unfortunately, this does, like, doesn't really work with the Zazel's thing, but it's a good item nonetheless. Right, book-wise, what do we actually want here? I'm, I'm unsure. We've got a lot of choices. Obviously, weird book is great, but not particularly in this situation. Um, We could take... Book of Virtues. Uh, actually, what's what's the other passive that I really like? Um, there's another passive book that I really enjoy. Is it in here? It's the one that... Um, it's like from Jerp Mod, I think. Where it uses a book every three rooms. I can't remember what it's called or what it looks like, so... Not exactly the easiest to find. I don't even know if it's in here. It might not technically count as a book. Um, hmm. K 
kind of tricky. Bombonomicon bombs enemies in the room, gives a bomb synergy. Bombonomicon is pretty fun, I will say. Of course, it is quality 4 as well. Just looking for what the quality 4 books are. Any book active used will now be buffed. Okay, so that's 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 an, a, a passive, but it doesn't really work for us. Let's take the Bombonomicon. I like the Bombonomicon, it's fun. Also, with Eternal Bombs, it could be pretty goddamn good. Yeah, Hemolacria, pretty good here. Um, maybe I should pair throw my shop item, see what I get. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's um, range up. Our range was pretty goddamn low, so I'll accept that. Right, let's go back and continue playing our buddy and take our other trinket back because um, we have Hive Mind now and it will buff this. We'll take our Yera to the next floor. Just don't give me anything trash, my dude. Also, how much does it take for you to pair out with an item? I don't think I've ever got one of these guys to pair out with an item, so I don't even know if they can, but I would assume they can. Oh, there you go. There we go. Right, let's see how the Bombonomicon works. Oh, I've killed the boss already. My bad. We need to see how the Bombonomicon works with Eternal Bombs, because I think it could be pretty goddamn good. Let's not do it in a room with fuck all enemies, though. Oh, yeah, that's... That's pretty incredible. So, it's sad. I, we got sad bombs this floor, so it's sad bombs everything. Ooh, also, library. At least bookworm for us, lovely. Rather goddamn nice. Oh, also, rubber cement actually works with this now. So, that's nice. Oh, this goddamn room. I don't even think I need to do all that, but there you go. Charm of the Vampire doesn't do much for us. This is probably pretty good. I'll take... Oh, wait, actually. I can just smelt this. And smelt this. I didn't even realise that smelter thing was there. Awesome. Okay. I love that. Right. Away we go. Yeah, Bombonomicon is a lot of fun. Certainly. Certainly a lot of fun. We're grabbing all of these. Hemolacria with rubber cement isn't actually great because I'm directly hitting some enemies and it's just bouncing off them. Sadly not something we want right now. Ooh, that I will take. Our range has been pretty subpar, so be able to get a bit more is lovely. Okay. Good, good. Boss, where art thou? Okay, still doing good damage even if it does bounce off them. Still good. <laughs> and we are doing light path here. Vanilla wafer doesn't do much for us. <clears throat> this thing with sad bombs is crazy. Obviously, we won't have sad bombs at every floor, but still. Right, away we go. Down we go. <clears throat> yeah, this should be pretty speedy from here on out. Let's let's not get hit too much. I'm getting I'm getting myself hit a hell of a lot right now. Good job as well. We've got Yara for uh, thingy. Yeah, definitely. Um, Rubber cement with Hemolacria isn't ideal. It's also not terrible. 
It's not completely ruining our damage, but it is limiting our damage because we're not getting the split shots directly hitting the enemies. Is that lost contact in there? Hell yeah. So, I, like, there's so much going on on screen right now. If I get hit, I, I apologize, but I can't really do anything about it. There ain't much to do. probably be taking the keys when I can, but I, I do already have quite a lot. I'm not that fussed. Yeah, I got a few there. Oh, golden key there as well. Hey, her, there we go. In situations like this is where you can notice the damage not being ideal when it's bouncing off enemies. Ooh, Luck Penny in there. We've already got six Luck. Getting up to seven will be quite nice for the Cathedral. Good old Luck Pennies. Oh my god. Sadly, I have managed to go the wrong way quite a few times here. It's always the way with the womb. It is always the way. Good job is we're killing enemies so rapidly that we're not eating up most of our flies and we're getting to like stack them up between rooms. Which means that when there is a hard room we can kind of demolish it with flies. Like like a room like this. We just like use all of our flies to just end the room straight away. Surleon of Apollyon. Quite nice because it gets uh, BFF'd. Not BFF, Hive Mind, you know what I mean. You know what I meant. Nice. I love the fact that it also activates the the bomb um, effect that it gives you with the book. Like, you kind of expect it to give you that, that upgrade, but not take effect until the next bomb that you place. But it actually works with that one too, which is quite nice. We've already got our full key, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Right. Next floor. Hush is reasonably plausible here, especially with 40 bombs and eternal bombs on top of that. Um, I don't think there's anything in there we want. Just hoping for heading in the right direction here. And we do have some, like, limited herming um, with this butterfly we just got. We also have a smaller hitbox, both of which are very, very nice for us. But yeah, the herming should be pretty good. It's actually... Very strong herming. I said limited, because I thought it was limited. It's not. It's very strong herming. Hey, straight to the boss. That's what you'd love to see. Good, good. Hushy, hushy, hushy. Why the hell not? Puzzle piece, thank you. Puzzle piece. Strength card, we will take into the fight. And items wise, we'll take that bad boy. And sad bombs, hell yes. Permanently having sad bombs is going to be pretty goddamn good. I think we'll head straight in. I have a feeling we're going to dominate him a little bit. Ghost Bombs is pretty good here too. Oh god damn, the bomb damage is crazy good. And that's not including the sad bombs. Holy hell, this is beautiful. Unfortunately, he's going underground a lot, so we are missing a few bombs here and there. We deal with what we can. Okay, I don't think we need any more bombs now. Yeah. <laughs> that was an insanely quick kill. Eternal bombs were pretty good there. Oh, yes. More of the void. 
That is fucking incredible to see. Up we go. More of the Void is awesome. Right. Now it's just getting through the cathedral, which honestly with this herming, this herming has revitalized our shots. They're a lot better now. Oh, you want a dance, bitch? Thank you, thank you. Honestly, I don't really need to use my bombs or my books for most runes. I've been getting some crazy lucky runs recently in terms of items. Like, just really, really powerful runs. We're already playing Azazel. It's already a pretty strong run, but... Bunch of extra bombs. That'll help us with our fights. No, honestly, I think just using our spacebar once in the Isaac fight will kill him. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain of that. Ah, oh, dude, how would I keep going the wrong way? Come on. Let me out of here. Also, how has Greg not died yet? How have we not get, gained an item from Greg so far? It's kind of crazy. Eh, let me through. Goddamn long ass death animations. For some reason, it's targeted onto the enemy. That was weird. Do we have that guy charmed or something? Or was it rather strange? There we go. Small rock, nice. Wasn't expecting it, but I'm certainly happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> Had a feeling. Had a feeling. We'd one shot the hell out of that guy, and we most certainly did. Satanic Bible. Okay, we are unlocking some really clutch items here that I didn't know we needed. Ah, oh, I didn't fucking Yarrow them. Oh, you stupid idiot. Walked all this way with a Yarrow and didn't even goddamn Yarrow him. I mean, it's not like we needed to, but it's still stupid to not do it. I guess I'll just Yarrow the next chest that pops up. Actually, let's check our secret room first. Make something better to Yera in here. There is not. Ugh. Feels upsetting. Oh my god. Destroying everything. It's crazy. I'm not even like aiming at things and they're dying. Got spun as well. Add that to the list of things on this crazy ass run. I realize I'm leaving some stuff behind, but I'm gonna have to come back for Mega Satan anyways, so I'll get it. Okay, there's the boss. Spelunker's hat helping us go the right way. Such a good change to this item to make it more unique. Now, this guy, unfortunately, we can't kill in a single bomb, but we can probably kill in three. There you go. Back we go. Mutant Spider, probably not all that necessary, but honestly, Quite a minor tears down for how much extra shots we're firing. So that's pretty good. Right, it's boss time. It do be boss time. I should have been using my boss more, my boss, my, my uh, space bar more often to get more bomb upgrades. But it's not that necessary really. Dude, this, yeah, this herming is just insane. You dead, boy. 
Yeah, quad shot here is uh, is quite insane. Demons, you dead. Have, we haven't done Delirium as this guy, so Delirium w will be happening if we uh, get the opportunity. There you go, next phase. Baby, it's beautiful. My bombs don't seem to be able to be moved by my tears, which is pretty useful considering how many of them are splashing around everywhere. Right, there you go. That's him dead. Are we going to get Mega uh, Delirium Chance? Let's see. Probably not. Nah, unfortunately not. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Dude, we just unlocked three amazing items. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.